For EC fans, nothing gets their attention faster than saying Gaines file copies. And now that I have your attention, let me add highest graded copy of the first issue of Weird Fantasy. That's right, Heritage Auctions is delighted to be offering one of the highest certified copies at 9.8 of Weird Fantasy number 13 from 1950. Much is written about Gaines file copies, so I'll be brief. Bill Gaines mistakenly thought he was required as a publisher to put aside comics every month. Well, he wasn't sure how many, so he put aside 12 issues in a plain brown bag and put them in a closet. Over the years, however, he or someone would occasionally pull a comic out for some reason or another, which explains why there are not 12 copies on the market today of every issue. Gaines decided in the 1990s there was no longer a need to hold on to these comics and put them up for auction at Sotheby's. The committee that graded these books at the time said they were all mint and that this one was a 7th out of 10. Obviously, CGC has their own standards to determine grades. Although a marginal seller during its entire run, Weird Fantasy and its sister publication, Weird Science, are among the most highly sought after science fiction comics ever produced. Long before the often used quote from Field of Dreams, if you build it, they will come, Bill Gaines and Al Feldstein felt if they could keep producing the best science fiction comics they were capable of, eventually readership would catch up. Continuing the number from the discontinued title, A Girl, A Moon, A Girl, A Romance, this inaugural effort starts right at the top. Feldstein, Wally Wood inking Harry Harrison, Jack Kamen, and Harvey Kurtzman not only contributed to this book, but they were mainstays all throughout the EC New Trend years. Go down to your local comic shop, buy 10 brand new comics off the shelf and send them to CGC. If you're lucky, two might come back 9.8. Now think about the odds of having a 61-year-old comic in 9.8. EC's high standards plus CGC's high grades equal a truly high value in Weird Fantasy number 13.